Hello, my name is Madeira and this is SynthCart. It's um, a synthesizer for the Commodore 64. This here is a Commodore 64 and this is one of the smallest and oldest TVs in the world. Um, so SynthCart is a cartridge you can buy that plugs in the back of your Commodore 64 and it sounds great. It's all producing sound from the SID chip that's within um, the Commodore 64. I'll put a link on the website, uh, on the video, sorry, to uh, the website of the guy who makes this. It's about £25 um, if you're in the UK. So uh, let's have a look. It's got lots of different preset sounds. Like with a lot of synths, you've got the octaves. And of course you're hearing this directly raw into the sound card. This is no processing effect, so it really does sound great. But the purpose of this video is not really to show you synth card, because there's lots of information about it on the internet. What I wanted to make this video for was to show you how easy it was to make a really cool accessory for SynthCart, which is this thing here. So this is um, what would equivalent be on a Commodore 64 two paddles, which I've created uh, using a nine pin cable. And what this allows you to do with SynthCart is you can then filter sounds. You can filter the sounds and you can also affect uh, the LFO rate, the pulse width um, and the pitch bend using these two things. All this is, this is an old joystick uh, box uh, with two potentiometers inside it. Now there's a tutorial video that I've put on my blog which will show you how to make this which I will put here. So that will show you all you need to make it. The main components are uh, two potentiometers, two 240k potentiometers, uh, logarithmic potentiometers and um, what I found with them is um, well a lot of tutorials tell you to use 480k ones but for me that didn't really work too well and they only tended to work halfway so I came to the conclusion that 240 uh, worked better. Anyway let's see how this works so it's a nine pin nine pin adapter goes straight into port two so now what we have <clears throat> uh, what's great about synth cart is that it automatically detects when you've got the filter knob attached let me put it i'll put it here so you can see it so much more expression to the sound. Let's try a different sound. I'm just using all the preset sounds on SynthCart by the way. You can modify you can modify the sound yourself. Really good tip for SynthCart, which I've never seen anywhere on the internet. If you press return, you get all of the keyboard shortcuts on the screen. Otherwise, you get this cool, you get this cool sort of sound form representation of old school graphics. But if you press return, yeah, you get the keyboard shortcuts, which is really useful. So what we want to do is we want to assign paddle two, which is this one, to um, a parameter. So we press Commodore and uh, Let's press, let's press, uh, okay, so we do the pulse width. Let's find a pulse sound. So this one, got filter here. And then this one. It's affecting the pulse width. It's a 
a great little synth. It's a lot of fun to play. Uh, if you own a Commodore 64 already, um, you've got to get it, really. I think it's brilliant. There is a couple of other uh, Commodore 64 cartridges and music software out there. There's one called Messiah, which looks very interesting, which is Swedish made. Um, there is also another one called Retroskoy, which I'll also put a link to. Uh, if you want to buy it, I'd, I'm interested in buying it. It looks a little bit deeper, the synthesis, than uh, Synthcart. But the Synthart's great because it's very, you just pick it up and it's instantly working. It's already there. Um, in actual fact, my the theme tune on my YouTube channel is made using uh, a few drum beats and only with Synthcart. But it's a great little machine, a great piece of software, and uh, this is uh, one of the cheapest ever pieces of equipment you'll ever use. Well, you just need an enclosure and two potentiometers and a nine pin DIN cable. Check out the tutorial on my website. Another thing I want to say, if you do have a Commodore 64, is that um, the video cable that goes in the back is a MIDI cable, it's a MIDI connection. So all you need to do if you have a MIDI cable is um, connect the end of the cable to some RCA outputs there's lots of information on this on the internet but if I just unplug the monitor if you have three RCA outputs to the end of the MIDI cable you have a video cable and you don't need to spend I don't know 10 or 15 pounds on buying one from the internet okay so that's a synth cart in a nutshell uh, thanks for watching Here goes